This video is sponsored by Brilliant, sustainable clothing brand Organic Basics. Go take a look at their simple and gorgeous organic tees, underwear and activewear. Okay, let's trick the trends once again. How to look totally modern by using what we already have and by only buying into the trends that are destined to become timeless pieces. You know I make anti-haul videos where I tell you which trends I won't invest in because they aren't long-lived enough, but what about the trends that we should invest in? As I see it, there are four different criteria we can look at to make sure that the item will become a wardrobe staple for years to come. First of all, is it a long-lived trend? Is it easy to style with the other items we already own? Is it practical and comfortable? And is it sustainable? In my first ever anti-trends video, I do a more thorough explanation of these four criteria, so go take a look if you want. Link in the description. Okay, now let's take a look at the trends this season and figure out which ones are worth investing in. One big trend this season is the school uniform silhouette. And luckily for all of us looking for long live, the school uniform never really goes out of style. Whether it be the dark academia style of last seasons or the slouchy scruffy version of the 90s like the craft, or the clean crisp simplicity look, there's something here for everyone. This season, the mini skirts aren't just mini, they're micro. Seriously, the shorter the better. Who cares if your knickers are totally on display when you get out of the car? Pleated skirts are of course a must for the uniform look and balance with a huge menswear shirt and an even huger maxi bag and a square blazer with shoulders for days, maybe even a tie if you're feeling it. Naked legs, white socks and huge chunky boots is how to finish off the look. Remember, this look might be inspired by the school uniform, but there's nothing innocent or naive or soft about it. It's the cool goth girl look we're after here. Ooh la la, I don't think we've ever seen a season with this much skin. Naked legs, naked backs, deep necklines, and guys, do I have some good news for you? Yes, it seems like the nipple might just finally be free. Have you seen this on Insta? The number of super sheer dresses and tops showing off the nipple in all its glory without any timidity. Transparent fabrics and mesh and fishnets and loose crochet, it's all over the place. I mean, we're used to seeing the bare breastedness on the runway, it's no news, but I've never before seen it on the street. The party dress to have this season is definitely the super sheer one. Is this too much for you? Would you ever go out with your nipples on display like that? I know it's a lot. Luckily, the bra and bikini top is also super hot on trend right now, so the crazy sheer dresses and tops can just as well be worn with a beautiful bra underneath, or why not on the outside of the dress? Since these sheer items are possible to style on top or underneath more covered up pieces, I think it's super safe to invest because sheer is really easy to style up or down. Going for neutral colors without too much detailing will also make sure we're going for long-lived and practical. What about comfortable, you're asking? Well, come summer heatwave, you'll see me wearing nothing else. Instant ventilation. We're seeing such extreme amounts of color on the runways this season. The neons have been around for a while and now come spring, the 80s pastels are also joining the scene. Now, I hear what you're saying, how to make something as extreme as head-to-toe neons easy to style and long-lived. If you ask me, the trick is to go small, to not do head-to-toe. The tone-on-tone -tone look is gorgeous and very dramatic and easy to create using neutrals like beige or white or black. So my trick when doing color in spring is usually to go for a head-to-toe beige and then add a pop of neon or pastel as a belt or a hot pink lipstick or something or a pale blue crop top, for example. Going for colors in accessories or more inexpensive items like a t-shirt makes it easy to incorporate some color into our usual wardrobes without buying a head-to-toe look we'll get tired of before next season already. The neons and pastels always come back more or less every spring too, and they make every outfit just that bit more much happy and energized, don't you think? So it's safe to invest in, for example, a bright belt for your trench coat, because you can still go back to styling the trench all beige without a belt if you feel like it. In contrast to all that color on the runways, there's an opposite movement going on too. It's the understated luxury, those pieces that you can already tell just by looking at them that you will never get tired of. Don't get me wrong, these wardrobe staples are not some boring run-of-the-mill basics. 
These are instead the hybrid of wardrobe staple and showstopper piece. And this, my friends, is my favorite type of item. Picture the basic trench coat, but in an unusual finish or with totally unique lapels or sleeves that whoosh just so. Blazers, suits, maxi dresses, simple enough to be treasured for a lifetime, but fun and original enough to make you drool with cravings. This is understated luxury at its best. Pieces you're itching to get your hands on and that you can see yourself wearing for decades to come. Most of this year, we're looking at all white everything. Wedding white tailored suits and off-white crochet bohemian maxi dresses. It's long limb, it's comfortable, it's easy to style, but white is not the most sustainable color out there. Pasta marinara, am I right? So if we're going for all in white, maybe not wear it to dinner parties or clubbing unless you have a magical stain remover at home. Do you? If so, let me know which brand you recommend in the comments because I still haven't found the one that I'm truly happy with. Which of these trends is your jam? Do you already own any of these items or are you looking to invest? I would love to incorporate some delicious pastel into my wardrobe this spring, but otherwise I'm all good, I think. How about you? Also, if you want more anti-haul videos and videos on trends that are worth investing in, do let me know by giving me a thumb and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. A big thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a fabulous new collection, their Boxy Tees. This is part of their Earth Optimism campaign, which is all about the small things each of us can do to make a difference. So let's inspire each other, shouldn't we? For example, throughout the years, David and I have tried exchanging our detergents and washing up liquids and shampoos and things to organic options that are better for the planet. But recently, we have also started looking for products that are microplastics free, which is something that brands have started to label their products with, just to do our part by changing something small, which can have a big impact on the future. Is there something small in your household you have changed recently for a better planet? Let's share all of our ideas in the comments. One way that Organic Basics commits to being a more eco-friendly and responsible brand is through their B Corp certification, which ensures that every certified company has a high standard of social and environmental performance, transparency and accountability. And they're also part of the 1% for the planet, which is a global movement where companies give a part of their sales to help fight climate change, restore biodiversity and protect vulnerable communities. But what's also important to mention is their focus on design and production. Just look how gorgeous my new tees are. I got the men's boxy t-shirt in black for a super oversized look. And then I also went for the women's tees in Pacific blue, soft lilac and white. But for these ones, I chose three different sizes. So one in extra small, one in small and one in medium so that I would get three different fits. I love the silhouette of boxy tees and they look so good with a pair of oversized trousers. Seriously, this is like my everyday uniform. The tees are also pre-washed, so they have already been washed before being sold, which ensures no unexpected shrinkage after the first wash at home, making the tees more true to size. So if you want to get your hands on your own organic basics, just click the link below in the description and use my promo code for 10% off. And you can have a look at all their new tees and underwear on the site. Seriously, so good. Thank you, Organic Basics, and thank you guys so much for watching today. Love ya, puss puss, and hey do!